A new possibly COVID-19 related syndrome is making headlines worldwide as a small yet notable number of children have been hospitalized with symptoms similar to those seen in Kawasaki's disease or toxic shock syndrome. It's being called pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome. And while there's still a lot to learn, here's what we know. Children with this condition may have a fever, rash, red eyes, and abdominal pain. They also have other signs of inflammation seen in Kawasaki's disease, which is a rare pediatric condition characterized by inflammation of blood vessels. In severe cases, there might even be multi-organ dysfunction. Now, experts still are not sure if this syndrome is linked to COVID-19, but the uptick in incidence coincides with the spread of novel coronavirus in the U.S. In New York State alone, 73 children have been hospitalized with this condition. Three have died. And Governor Andrew Cuomo confirms the majority of them tested positive for COVID-19. Now, I want to stress, this condition is ex extremely rare. And researchers, local governments, and the CDC are working diligently to understand the science at play. But early diagnosis and treatment are critical for preventing long-term inflammatory damage. So if your child is presenting with these symptoms, you got to seek medical care as soon as possible. I'm Dr. Oz. This has been your COVID-19 News Minute.